Hi, we're Nordstrom Team 5. I'm Alexa. I'm Marissa. I'm Alex Steckler. I'm Hanaya Dixon, and we created the Nordstrom Dream Closet app. Um, so I'm sure you've all seen Clueless, correct? Well, that was kind of our inspiration for the Nordstrom Dream Closet app. Um, I'm just going to show a quick video to give you an idea of what we're thinking. But seriously, I actually have a way normal life for a teenage girl. I mean, I get up, I brush my teeth, and I think I'm my school clothes. Okay, so how amazing would it be if you got to do that every day, right? Like, literally pick out your outfit and put it on top of yourself. And <laughs> that's what we were thinking. Um, we wanted to create something that would enhance the customer experience, um, engage customer service into our product in store and online, and develop a, nostal a nostalgic and innovative experience for our customers and our employees. All right, so for target market or intended users, we're looking at the millennial generation, so ages 17 to 29. Um, our customers are interested in exclusive offers and products, so they really want to be unique in their how they dress. Um, it's upper middle class people, and we want to implement it into the young contemporary department. So this is the Top Shop, Top Man, The Rail, BP, those departments. Um, and we found in our research that millennials spend over 600 billion yearly on just clothing and fun items. So we really think that they'd be a great um, target to look at. Uh, we also found that 57% of millennials want technology in stores, so by adding in these dream clauses into the stores, it would bring more of those millennial generations in. And we also found that 95% of millennials want loyalty programs when they shop. So our dream closet does incorporate the loyalty program. So I'm sure you guys may be wondering how we're going to bring customers um, in store if the app is obviously online um, and we decided to bring smart mirrors into the pop-in section of the downtown Seattle store um, and it's just an innovative way to attract our target market to the to come in store and see what we're um, creating and this is an idea of what the experience would be like So as you can see, customers would be able to try on clothes without actually having to put anything on. And we would have an employee or a stylist on hand to walk the customer through the experience, um, help them pick out clothes, all of those different things. And they would sign in to their um, Nordstrom account on the mirror just by putting in their phone number the same way that they would on the app. And by doing that, they would have the data would collect from their previous um, bought items, items in their wish list, or items that are sent to them through the employee or stylist that they pick to work with through the app. still me. Um, and then the Nordstrom Dream Closet app is basically just an app that customers can use to create outfits of the day, of the week, of the month, and employees and stylists would have access to the closets as well, and they would be able to create outfits for the customers. Um, and here's a quick video just to show what that experience might be like. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Style Web Closet app is a virtual closet for your real life clothes with over 90 features to organize and manage every aspect of your wardrobe. Inventory photos of your clothes into custom categories and even add searchable notes and tags to each item. Snap photos following the easy tutorial on how to take. 
So, like I said before, um, the data would already be collected for the clothes that customers have in their closet, so they wouldn't actually have to take photos of the clothes that they're, they want in their closet, and the clothes wouldn't be flat lay as they are with Stylebook. It would be over an avatar version of themselves, like the video that we showed in the previous slide. And this is what the prototype app experience would be like on desktop, on the phone, and something like an iPad. So we want to Im implement this into a stylist, a customer, and the online world to keep customer service alive because that is Nordstrom's number one thing. Um, this. Uh, the program will allow stylists to continually work on customers' closets. So if the customer has a vacation coming up and they really want a new wardrobe for that vacation, your stylist can work on it. Um, we also found that 95% of millennial customers want to be valued as a customer while shopping in store. So the stigma that uh, millennials don't want to shop in store is incorrect. So what sets us apart? Um, we all know about the triple point day and that is really something that Nordstrom values in their customers, especially when they're a rewards member. So if they come in and use the pop-up shop and experience them smart mirror, you can get the triple point day for that whole day. Also, stylists and employees have access to their closet, so not just the customers, so they can really interact with whoever is working with them. Our dream closet is fun, interactive, and nostalgic, while the smart mirror is fun, interactive, and innovative. So why Nordstrom? Nordstrom works better in-store than online. We all know that we are guilty of online shopping, especially for our generation these days, but we want it to work just as good or even better in-store, and we want customers and we want the traffic to be in our store. So that's why we created the pop-up shop. The smart mirror allows customers to try products on to see how they look without making that impulse decision to buy something. So if there's something and they want a certain color or a different color, they can try that color on in the smart mirror and decide to buy instead of an op impulse decision to buy that um, garment. So in order to build a hype for the dream mirror, we want to hold a pop and shop, which both of my partners we're talking about. Um, so it allows customers to familiarize themselves with the mirror. So the pop and shop sees a lot of foot traffic. It's right by the um, bridge and by the cafe. So people will walk by, they'll see the mirrors, they can test it out. Um, and they also can start building their closets, which will keep them um, as our customers. Um, and the dream closet will build lifelong customers by starting their closet, they'll want to continue and they'll never stop. <laughs> So for our marketing, our main focus that we wanted to do was in-store and we wanted to create a video advertisement that we wanted to put in a window display because we think if we put it in a window display, it will stop customers in their tracks and it will entice them to come in and check out what we are offering. We will also be putting signage into the Nordstrom stores and we will also be having our employees discuss the new product with their customers while they're shopping around. And then our video will also be played on the Instagram and Snapchat apps while um, People are looking around on their stories, and then the, there's um, the small advertisement that pops up. So for our video advertisement, we wanted to partner up with an um, in-demand fashion influencer, so we decided to choose Ami Song. And as you can see here, she has 4.8 million followers, and a lot of those um, uh, followers are of our target market age. So we wanted to choose her, and we also wanted to partner with Alicia Silverstone, who was the original actress in the movie uh, Clueless. So with that, we wanted to recreate the closet scene that we showed in the beginning, and they're gonna be interacting with that and also be using the smart mirror in our advertisement. And then also we found that 92% of millennials will show interest in something if their favorite influencer endorses it. So that's also why we chose Ami Song so that we can get her large followers in our smart mirror as well. So to finish up, our uh, smart mirror and dream closet is innovative and interactive. The smart mirror will keep uh, the in-store experience alive and encourage customers who really want that new technology to come into the store. And our dream closet will also enhance the online experience um, so that our customers will still be able to get a good experience online as well. Any questions?